in wezen enkel is saved. Dude, Jason, you're not even here. Yeah, where are you, dude? Oh no, is that your shoe nice hat? No, oh, that's your Tony Khan hat. It was in my hotel room when I got back from the Olympics. Wow. Great. Everyone, welcome Tony Khan to episode 37 yeah. of the Invasion Angle podcast. I was hanging out with Guy Fieri, Tony, you piece of shit. It was so uh, great. And um, That's it. Gotta, <laughs> and also, uh, R.I.P. to Rich Homie Kwan. Of course. We have to... I do have a bone to pick with Tony Khan. Let's hear right it now. Well, as we know, Dynamite was in Dynamite was in Milwaukee last night. Yeah, and you missed a good chance to bring out your favorite basketball player, Giannis. Giannis, like, I'm just wondering why why you, why you didn't bring him out. Yeah. Giannis said, uh. I don't know. Bad booking, dude. They should have let Giannis spear someone last time, too. I don't even think Giannis came out on the actual show. Didn't he, like, come out afterwards? Like, after I thought, he was, I thought he was just in the crowd. No, it was during the show. He came onto, like, the stage and then t- turned out, like... I thought a- that was, like, an internet exclusive type shit. Or maybe I'm wrong. Might have. I think it was on live air because he, he just won the championship that year, so, like, you'd want to flex that live. Hmm. I don't know. I may have just misremembered. Yeah. And but, today's um, show is sponsored by MetaMoon. It tastes like Fruity Pebbles with milk. Max. It tastes like, it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. We're the first podcast to get picked up by a streaming service, Max. Um, so no, we're really dude. excited about that. Um, we're ahead. already signed to Tubi. You can't, you're not getting our signatures to go to Max. We're not sellouts, dude. All right. We're going to end up on Crackle now. I'm sorry. I'm doing the Tony Khan stare for the... Uh, oh, great. For the listeners. I'm sure they can feel the creepiness coming through of his fucking stare. So let's hop into Rapid Fire. It was not an insane week as far as uh, news, but there was some news. There was. He's had to look. Um, the Tate twins are suing AEW. And Kevin Kelly. Yeah, I don't... Dude, I I disagree. I can't believe Andrew and Tristan Tate are doing this, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's I can't believe just their this. style, honestly. But I guess they probably dude, need some money for the out. yeah, they probably need some money for like the Romanian uh trap sex trafficking charges or whatever the fuck they have going on over there, bro. Yeah, they I didn't know Kevin Kelly you. was involved in that too, man. Yeah, Kevin Kelly, dude, I've never trusted him and he's a sick fuck and Honestly, when the when AEW even brought in Kevin Kelly, it was just like, who gives a shit, dude? He had barely an ounce of talent when he was on WWE. He was just a fucking annoying guy. He never got to do the spots that like Michael Cole or Coachman or any of these fucking guys like did, where they actually, you know what I mean? They were just a dingus that The Rock could throw t, you know, he wouldn't even throw a t-shirt on his head like Paul. They're just like, yeah, all right, whatever, Kevin Kelly, get the fuck out of here. So, fuck you, Kevin Kelly. <laughs> Sorry that Tony Khan gave you a fucking gave you a spot when you didn't deserve one anywhere else. And you fucked it up for yourself, obviously. So I'm with you on this one, TK. Because TK yeah. can't talk about it. It's going through some legal process. We'll talk for him. And I like yeah. his sister better. Kelly Kelly. Yeah, so do I, dude. Yeah. I like his sister some... better. Chip Kelly, former Eagles head coach. Dude, Chip Kelly's a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking really? hate that guy. Oh, I'm you're a giant, giant, you're a giant yeah. Fan, yeah, yeah. I can't can't accept him into my world. What about, is there any more Kellys we know? What about Kelly Leak? Does that count from the Kelly Bad Clarkson. News Bears? R. Kelly. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what else do we? What were we just talking about? Oh yeah. Um, the Tate twins. So the they Tate are twins. suing them because they didn't want to fly out of like Nashville or something. Whatever it was, a whole it thing. It was like an international flight or something. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um, doesn't really matter they because seem like crybabies. Tony Khan has unlimited money, so even if they're right, they're not going to last in court, most likely. So it's probably a bad choice on their fault. Wow. 
So um, I stand with Ian Riccoboni. That's all I know. Easy what else out. happened this week? What, John? Say two, two weeks in a row. I hope this doesn't become a trend because it's another gross topic that sucks. Um, so Odyssey Jones was fired, and people didn't really know why yet. He was just taken off the page randomly after just working the whole New mm-hmm. Day angle, and apparently it's because of domestic violence. Mm. So, the, so the reports say, which would make sense why they fired him right away. They probably, like, it must have been bad if they just, like, Barely, like, right away, they just, like, got a police report or a little paragraph. I'm like, yeah, you're fucked up. Get out of here. Get the fuck out. We don't even need to wait for court. Fuck you. Yeah. And I think it's they should take that stance. It's especially what happened with, you know, Nick, you know, Nikki Bell the week before. She's, you know, part of the wrestling world. And I think that's something that wasn't taken care of a ton in the past. I mean, it kind of goes into our next uh, rapid fire, of, you know, Vinnie Mac. And, you know, I wonder if they're going to talk about... uh. Superfly Snuka and him helping him cover up the fucking murder of his girlfriend at the time. Yeah, but, I doubt. Well, We're talking about the Netflix docu series. For anyone wondering, yeah, yeah. and I'm bringing it up again because the trailer came out about three or four hours ago. Did you yeah. guys check it out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't you, know. I think. If I don't go dude, into those little side. They're not going to talk about. They're, they're not going to talk about any of that stuff. The only thing they'll talk about is the Janelle Grant stuff, maybe on the last episode, because like everything in that series was like approved by mcmahon because this was happening like way before all this stuff came out no so they they said they they didn't get need his approval for it but he allowed him to be but he agreed to be yeah. a part of it i don't think you're bringing up any of that stuff uh, they're talking about benoit <laughs> yeah but that's like so if, if they can touch benoit it. i mean you can touch i would touch on all of those fucked up things i hope they touch on the ring boys and that weird shit yeah, i was the, just gonna say pat Patterson late aries early 90s and, but yeah we yeah. don't know but i agree yeah, i feel I like they're really not gonna don't, i really don't but i don't think triple h and john cena and all those guys would be involved if they're gonna bring up people like they're gonna bring up the snooki stuff or the ring boy stuff or like the ashley masaro yeah. stuff they're not gonna they wouldn't be well, a part of it. yeah that's why six episodes isn't enough mm-hmm. honestly yeah because they're looking at like the whole you know, well, history of, you know, him taking over the company. So it's kind of... It's, it's from the wild. creator of Tiger King. So you know that they want to keep milk in that cash cow. So they'll definitely mm-hmm. do a second season. You know what I mean? They're like... Yeah, but if they do stuff more. that... If they do stuff that Triple H and them that aren't really happy about, they probably, you know... They might not, but at the same time, there's plenty of people at Hate Vince that were there for a lot of this stuff and they'd have no problem... You know, mm-hmm. hopping on, hopping on the mic and and uh, shooting, brother. This is just like a huge, one of the biggest shoot interviews ever. Is really what it is. I'm sorry, what is that? That goes into our next. I'm sorry, was, I just I don't think I know what that term means. Yeah, and that leads us to our next rapid fire Logan shoot question mark. Which I know what a notes. work is. You think he? I honestly, there's a part of me because I, if you watch the full clip, I'm wondering like. There's like this small, tiny part of me. I just like, is he just, is he working Hulk Hogan right now? Does he really not know what a fucking shoot is? Yeah, I and, think he's an idiot. I mean, I he yeah, for one, but for two, it's like, I don't think that the program that they're putting like a celebrity through to train him, you know, is anywhere similar to like, the carny vibes well, of, well they have know, to fast track him and he, or... yeah well they had to fast track his training he did it directly with hbk and fly in and out when he has time work do it to go to the training center or like have it to himself with hbk and other pros for a day or two and then he flies back down to puerto rico takes care of prime signs up a few deals make sure that they made at least 500 million more meta moons because it tastes like pretty pebbles and what can you do they're not paying you they're not gonna pay us they do prime they- prime prime's on the downfall i heard my quick check removed all their prime energy and anything that was left they made with a dollar 49 damn dude that's a deal logan what's going on dude is that a shoot or work you said it's Brother? ksi's fault probably you is. said it's ksi yeah, but yeah, him not. Know, I really, I'm trying to think because I feel like there's. I don't know how he went through that many interviews with wrestlers with like that not coming up, but it's funny that like Hulk Hogan's the one that like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
showed him to, like I was at Hulk Hogan reposted it of him looking at Hulk the camera Hogan, like a create. Hulk Hogan did a little gym from the office moment where he looks at the camera. Well, that's what's weird about it because also Ferris Bueller. If, if he is like, if he really does know what a shoot Breathless. is, and it would be a smart thing, it would be a smart work because they were talking about works before it went to that. Like, it would be a really smart work to make wrestling fans hate you even more and make you even bigger villain if you don't know what a shoot is. So even if it was on purpose, not on purpose, like he's getting more heat, he's gonna get booed more, you know. Yeah. But, uh, Welcome. And then he. Yeah, and then he and then he's he's gonna be on a SmackDown next week, burning down LA Knight's house that he Make got for his mom. I think so, man. I saw a pretty uh, polarizing meme, and it was like soap opera, and it was like a picture of uh, CM Punk crying over the bracelet being broken, and then it was uh-huh. like cinema, and then it was like. The picture that's behind John of Hangman in front of the Yeah, they got to stop letting wrestling fans like use those words because they just overplay it. Yeah. So Anytime cinematic. I see someone write cinema, I want to fucking blow my brains out. <laughs> yeah. It's like cinema and it's a drop down. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, who fucking cares, bro? It's cinema and it's the Edge live sex show on Raw. That was cinema, to be fair. Exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, what are you saying? You are a cinema. That's all I think about. <laughs> still like. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really the rapid fire news this week. It wasn't too, yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't hot. remember. I mean, I, I that's like going through all the news, it's really like the most relevant. shit Um, um, I guess like the TNA, the, the Maple Leaf uh wrestling league. Well, the fuck a, I was kind of gonna, it. well, TNA just granted the release of a Giselle Shaw. Who I think dates still dates Scott Demore, who owns Maple Leaf, so that kind of connects. Yeah, and he's allowed to use a lot of his DNA guys, all and the girls. ones that's... and girls, and girls, women. Okay, moose and mooses. Dude, what the hell? And mooses, mooses, mooses. Are and... there even TNA people on that card? Oh, I guess Speedball's on it. You're right. Josh Alexander too. I think. I was wow. gonna. President Tony Khan spoke with the pro le- pro wrestling media on Thursday ahead of his AEW All Out pay per view. Let's see what he talked about. Hey, you know we're trying to talk about Maple Leaf Wrestling right now. All right, continue, piece of shit. guys. Sorry, okay. interrupt me again, dude. All right. I swear to God, I'm trying to talk nah. about Speedball. Who? Don't say, you dare not who Speedball my failure again, you piece of shit. But yeah, it's like me and John were saying. Yeah, they're doing a Takesh just facing both of them. Not at the same time, though. Yeah, that's... I'm glad Takesh is coming back in the fold now after they kind of just shit on him for a while. You know? Yeah, yeah. John, like, yeah. He, he was booked so strong. Uh, he had the blazer jacket, like, always sunny. And then he fucking... <laughs> They started just, they're honestly, what makes me really sad is they're literally doing the same thing to Kyle Fletcher that they're doing to him, making him a high end jobber, mm-hmm. you know? And it's just like, and going well, into like a looks, lot of title type matches, and it's just like, fuck, man. Like, it Kyle looks Fletcher like he's has lost some of his. A feud with it. What's his face, though? Uh, Okada. I hope so. Because I, I really what, do. What I assume, because they're doing like a four way match with Okada in the Continental title. And uh, they're doing, like, the qualifiers on Collision and shit. I think Takesh is in it. And didn't Takesh come out last night after the Fletcher match? Yeah, it, but, is, um, is it Takesh versus uh, Briscoe on Friday? I feel like they're triple threats or some shit. They have remember. a special a special Friday night Collision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I feel like they're going to have, like, a four-way, and Okada's going to retain, but it's going to lead to, like, a more bigger feud with just those yeah. two. And maybe, like, I Grand so. Slam or some shit. Dude, I hope so because it'd be awesome, and I would like to see the elite against the Don Callis crew, like a heel versus heel faction would be pretty great. Mm-hmm. I like Don Callis's crew is kind of, you know, not well, been heard, doing much. I heard um, Powerhouse Hobbs was backstage at, at Dynamite, so maybe he's like on his way back. The, so is there um, Rampage on before Collision? No, it's on after. Oh, okay, it's, yeah, that's right. It's eight to ten, and then ten to eleven. So it's Takeshita versus uh, the Beast of Mordos. 
and then it's Lance Archer versus Mark Briscoe, and then Orange Cassidy versus Brian Keith. And the winners of those will face Okada at All Out. That's going to be awesome. And mm-hmm. All Out's on Sunday? Or Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday yeah, because it's Saturday the football night. season. Yep, football yeah. season. Tony said, I'm going to make the pay-per-views, you know, on Saturday. He, he has to be in Jacksonville or wherever yeah. the Jaguars play their first I'm, game. Dude, sorry. Like, I know, like, you know, the NFL is great and stuff, but AEW is a bigger priority because he owns an entire league compared to just one team. You know what I mean? He's like their stat guy and like the what is he like the VP or something or part owner of the Jags? Yeah, I don't know what he is, but the Jaguars play in Miami yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, and I'm tired of Tony's yeah. bullshit with that. Focus on AEW, Tony. Unfortunately, the Jaguars have doesn't a... have uh, Christopher Daniels on staff. Yeah, that's stupid. He should be their GM for sure. <laughs> <laughs> He like, really should be their GM. I like that he just looks like Adam Pierce now. So it's like, I feel like Very they literally copy I think them. it's to welcome people, you know, if you're switching sides or whatever, you know what I mean? Try to check out a new product. I guess. Like, oh, it, this is kind of familiar. Uh, but I, yeah, it's kind of, I can't, I go back and forth for thinking, why are the, why is the general manager a bald guy? Because they say 80% of bald guys are sexual deviants. So. That is a real, actual statistic. Yeah. Pretty sure it was, yeah. So, um, how dare they, dude? I'm tired of all these, these pervert GMs. That's why Nick Aldis is the best GM right now. But he's actually just really good. I, Nick, I, like, he's just so good on the mic. And Is Mickey James he, still wrestling? Yeah, there's rumors she might be coming back to WWE. To the That'd Fed, cool. it makes sense. Like, why not be with Tubby? You know, you gotta but, be with uh, your wifey. Fuck it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I don't um, know where she was. TNA or NW. She was in NW. General right? Hospital. You just pulled up a picture of Chris. No, no. Okay. Anyway, Chris watching soap operas now. I'm gonna put you on the news. Dude, I only okay. Watch, I, only watch I am gonna. I'm gonna, gonna put you cinema. on the news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're getting put on the news for that too now. <laughs> Please. ECU yeah. is great cinema. I recommend that movie to probably no one. I so don't um even how it ends. Don't they just throw a big party at the end or something? something. Let's talk about PCU. Yeah, I really like John Favreau playing like a paranoid like punk guy. Was he like a stoner? I thought he was a stoner, not punk. So like he had he's like super into like grunge and then <laughs> okay kind of looks like he would be in Raven's flock. It's pretty cool. All right. Anyway, next, next what topic. We, what are we talking about? Do you guys want to talk all out? Dude, questions? I have a big surprise. I have a big surprise in the next segment. After this, the next Zoom segment. Okay. You have to wait. Girl on. on. Put a girl on. That's what I. That's what I call and tell Tony Khan all the time because. Hey man. That's that's how I feel about TV most of the time in AEW is put a girl on. I don't know if yeah, they're doing exactly. a Mariah May match at all out, but if they do, that's three female matches on the main card. Oh wow! Aren't we it so doesn't, lucky? It doesn't. It doesn't look like doing a Mariah May match though. But, yeah, uh, and then I'm, that's why I'm gonna keep calling them and keep telling them to put a girl on. Put a girl on Tony Khan, okay? Put him on and put him over. Mm-hmm. Bang bang. Um. Yeah. So let's go over the all out card currently and let's make our predictions. Yeah. Before going into that, I do want to say our predictions from last week in Bash of Berlin. Um. Yeah, five out of five, and I was off by like twenty seconds, the duration. So I I won that too. So. Wow. What? No, you weren't. How many? No, it was like twenty three minutes. I thought. No, it was a. Uh, I think it was, I might have been 30 seconds one? at the longest. No, it was 26 minutes and 37 seconds or something like that. And I think I where are you getting that? Where are you getting that time from? A uh, cage match. Okay, I'm on Wikipedia. That's why. Cody versus KO. Wikipedia says 23 minutes and 16 seconds. And I'll yeah. look up what cage match says. Yeah, Wikipedia is also missing any and all information about Epstein on Clinton's page, so I don't trust that. Yeah, anymore, and Cage, right? you're right, you're right. Cage Max says 26 minutes, 10 seconds. 
Yeah. The Clintons are trying to change the durations of the matches to fuck me over. How dare they, dude? Hey, man. You, you so see, tired so, of them. So do I'm you win? Yeah, I won, dude. I'm going to put them on the news. <laughs> All right. How dare yeah, you, Wikipedia? Yeah, whatever, dude. I'll take a page out of your book, John. It's time to stop the steal, and I'm pretty sure that <laughs> I got it right, actually. No, you didn't because I... I'm with her. You had 25 minutes and, and by her, seconds. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about Mercedes Monet. And that's how we're going to start out this all-out uh, predictions. Mercedes versus Hikaru Shida for the TBS championship. Yeah. What um, do you guys well, got? Camille is banned from ringside. I got Monet. I've got Monet, too, because... For the love of Monet, you know what I mean? Because, I, like, I I, 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 I don't see how it making any sense that a car shooter would win. Doesn't a car shooter have a match on Collision, I believe, or Rampage? Versus Deanna Perrazzo. Yeah, so she'll get that big win over Deanna Perrazzo to put over a little bit for the PPV, and Mercedes Monet is going to win. Hopefully it's a better outing than her and DMD, because that wasn't something to call home about, I would say. Well, yeah, there's been no note of Britt Baker since that match. So, side she note, disappeared. You, yeah, mm. on her way to WWE th- bound. WWE. Yeah, I hope she comes to WWE and teams up with uh, Chelsea Green. They should call Britt Britt Green because she, she she can't wrestle. Um, <laughs> he's green. <laughs> um, think- come on, man. Come on. But uh, yeah, Mercedes. That's who I pick. Yeah, I yeah, I got Mercedes. Mercedes too. We all got She's Mercedes. She's gonna prove she doesn't need Camille. You know what I mean? No, yeah. there's probably gonna be some Tom Foolery where Camille does come out, but yeah, hopefully, yeah, Camille's gonna take care of business for her. But yeah, I mean, Hikaru Shida, they threw her a bone last year with some titles, but like, she's a high end job for champions. She's always a part of their championship run. She's always thrown in as one of the stepping stones. Just like mm-hmm. Nyla, Nyla Rose and uh, Yeah, Serena, but Nyla Rose hasn't Serena won Deeb. a title in four years. Since the beginning, yeah. At least yeah, she had won, won consistently like titles for like two years. Yeah, no, I mean, Hagar Sheet is like probably the yeah highest end of because she can win sometimes, so it makes you think, but she was used as a transitional camp last year twice in a row. Not wrong. Yeah. So she's, I mean, th- there could be some weird shit where they, because the only thing I can think of is like she did lose is because once again, become a transitional champ and it's Mercedes chance to uh, make a run at the world title, but they, that would be stupid doing that. That's too true. It's too early. If you're going to do that, it should be like, should be a mega match for both titles, honestly. Down the down the line, Mariah May versus Mercedes. I, mean, I never like I never like doing that. I hate putting two titles to one person. I'd rather have it on different yeah. people so I can have different matches. But T- tell that to the belt collector, Kenny uh, Omega. Yeah, but he he didn't cut any belts that were in AW. Yeah, just one. Just one. Just with me. Yeah. Yeah, I would have fought them winning all of them, but whatever. Now, Up next. Before, before we get into the next match, what? I said in the last one, I have a nice surprise for uh, the uh, visual watchers of the show. Okay. That's one thing we love here at um, Invasion Angle Pod. Visuals? And that's more ribs. That's yeah. more ribs. That looks good. Yep. Fuck Jason, dude. So, yep. next, what's the next match, man? While yeah, you just, this, said... this rib. Yep. Okay. You're That's ribbed. he's ribbing us with a rib, I'm dude. Now. It's All dude, right. he's using a wrestling term to work in food. It's genius. What's a rib? Anyway. Um... Owen Hart was the best river in the nineties. That's what they told me. That they told me that on the interviews and the shoot. I heard that Owen Hart was ribbed for her pleasure. Anyway, the next match is ah! AW World Tag Team Championship match. Young Bucks versus Claudio and Wheeler. Yuda. Um, super kick, super kick yeah. party. Yeah, I mean the young. Yeah, I've, they already got I the trios titles. Yeah, because they already have the trios. It's like why they just needed a match. Yeah, 
Fair well, that's, is, what, that's the problem with Jack all out. Sometimes you're gonna get some <laughs> matches that are kind of just thrown at the wall, you know. Like, and it's just like since Jack Perry's feuding with Danielson, that's what I. Yeah. Yeah. So it's I, I and and that's what it seems. Uh, yeah, and and Pop's in the match with Osprey, so they couldn't do a trios match. Uh, BCC is so weird right now too, because it's like Moxley's kind of doing his own thing almost a little bit, but he's like still almost, a part of the group. Is, yeah. But he's a part of the group. So same with like Will Osprey, he's like super over face, but he's still in the heel faction still. I thought he like technically left. Like, did he actually leave yet? Or like that's like something that like I'm definitely a gripe of always how Tony is just like these groups will kind of just like fade away. Members will be like kind of in or out or just. I remember, like, the pinnacle at MJF, like, that was so fucking weird, and then, like, they literally bring it up, like, yes, we're still a group, and then, like, three weeks to go by, and they weren't shown together anymore, so, I don't I blame, know. I blame Sean Spears. Yeah. I mean, most of the issues AEW's ever had is because of Sean Spears, so. Uh, even on the first night he came in, dude. Yeah, that's why, like, his last day there, Jericho definitely was the last one to let him out the door, and said, thank you! Thanks! <laughs> Bye, guys! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. What's going on with you, Jason? So we're all, we all got young bucks. Are you on young bucks? I'm gonna go young bucks too. I'm gonna go young bucks one. <laughs> yeah, the EVPs will not be stopped until they have every title. I don't think Jason can hear us right now. No, I can. What's happening? I think he sharded and his, fine. he sharded his undies. He's the man who has the card right now. We I am a part of continue. this podcast. My headphones didn't die. Anyway. Well, sounds like they did. Anyway, we're fine. Nothing nothing happened. Um next match. Uh Chris Statlander versus Willow Nightingale. Chicago Street Fight match. Okay, what is their head-to-head record right now? Is it one to one? No, no. I feel like Willow has at least two wins on her. She's got the edge, right? And yeah, her, her team won't want it. Yeah, I I feel like it has to be set because I don't know. I love her heel turn, but I feel like it needs like a little jolt of energy, you know? Mm-hmm. Because I think she can do a lot of fucking cool things with it and be in the title picture, like hundred percent. Um, I. We gotta yeah, go with that. I pick stat too. Stat Boop. later. Yeah. Boop. She deserves it. Boop. Boop. She needs a big win. Yeah. When is Statlander gonna bring in uh Steph Delander as her enforcer? Is what I want to know. Nah, she don't need an enforcer. Sure. She's too strong. Maybe just no, I know, an but equal the... lander. You know, they'll be called the Outlanders. Yeah. The Outland does. Now, I mean, if anything, Steph will, would, would do stuff with NXT or WWE again because she's rocking with TNA and GCW, which are in love with Triple H, the game. Dun, 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 dun. Um, but yeah, so I think we're all, we're all in agreement loves, so far. GCW loves Steph McMahon. They do. They love all the Steph. So your name is Steph. Mm-hmm. Go to GCW. For real. Give Brett a call. And tell them to put a girl on. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so th- we're we're all in unison for the first three matches that we chose. What's next? There has to be something we disagree Will on. Osprey versus Pac. I, I it's got to be bro. I don't, I don't see him losing the title two weeks later to Pac, who's yeah, already got the yeah. trio's title on him, and it's like yeah, Pac's I would already love been to it. see him win too, but. Yeah, I would too. I think it'd be cool. I, I think it would just have to be down the road if because Pac would be the perfect guy to take it off Osprey, where it's and like he, he has won that title before too. Yeah, and yeah, when he, he last time first, he was the first. Yeah, and when he did win that title, though, he also had the trios title too, and was a double champ for that a little true. bit. That is true. With the uh, death, death triangle. triangle, so he and it was Rest around the peace. same. Yeah, R.I.P. Boys. We'll see you on Raw. <laughs> Um, but NXT. How dare you? You're you're a closet Raw fan, and we all know it, dude. <laughs> you never I'm stop. Sh- all you I'm talk deeply, about is Damian Priest, dude. Deeply closeted Raw fan. I'll yeah. never admit it. <laughs> yep. That's a great fucking... norm bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
That was was that on Letterman? Was that on Letterman or Conan? I think it was Conan. Conan. It was on Conan yeah. and uh, and what's his face? Uh, loose butthole. Who does that? Uh, Larry King. Larry King. I think he did on Larry King. <laughs> Who's yeah. that? That's how people know who Larry King is. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah. how I know. Yeah. Yeah. Larry King was a hero, dude. Yeah. Um. He had a child when he was like eighty. Yeah, it's like Bobby De Niro. Day. Just like Bobby De Niro. I, did I say like there's a... anything wrong with that? John was just saying he's a hero, dude. Yeah. Okay. I was just I'm adding just... to the list of reasons why. I'm just making sure, dude. The fuck yeah, it's it's amazing I... that there's any swimmers left in that dust popping out his pee pee. Am I right? I'm just saying the only thing I'd want at 80 years old is more ribs, dude. Yeah, more ribs, exactly. Mm-hmm. More ribs, and just to sit home, eat your ribs, and watch the the late night news and go to sleep. Exactly. And then wake up with sharks in your tidy whities And that's the life. Do you guys think we should guess who uh, the Continental Championship match is going to be of? Well, I think Okada retains. Do you guys think Okada retains? Um, I think so. Yeah, I just think he just needs to do way. more with his title run. He's got to do a little bit more with it before he lets it go. And I, I feel like with the Continental... I mean, it would be kind of cool if they do the Continental Classic again. What was that November, December, whenever they did that? And um, yeah, Okada goes all the way through with the title on the line all the way to the finals, and then loses in the finals to somebody because that's like I'm happy with him. Much respect in, in the semis. That would be okay too, but I think they'd want to put him over completely because the next thing he's doing is going for a title. I feel like Okada could definitely him or Osprey. Uh-uh. They're both guys I can see taking off of uh he's going Brian. On. No. I don't think Brian's gonna be champ by then. I think he's gonna lose relatively fast. I don't know. He's it's his last title run. He's gonna want to make it extra special. Yeah, he's working you, bro. Yeah. He's winning that I, title five more times. He's working you, dude. Dude, I <laughs> I hope he gets a chance to run into Artem and kick his fucking head off, dude, for what he did to his sister-in-law. That's all I have to say. That's all I got to say about that. You followed him on Instagram, dude. Good. There's a start. and he's he, Dude, he he's a morally just dude, so I feel like for sure he would want to kick his fucking head off. He yeah. should be fed to the Blackpool Combat Club. But, um, yeah. Uh, so we well, all think Okada retains... Forward. And who well, do we think's in the match? Is it I like what way? Jason do. Yeah, so it's Beast Mordos versus um, Takeshita, and I think Takeshita's winning. Yeah, Takeshita's yeah. winning. Man. And then it's uh, Orange Cassidy versus Brian Keith. Orange, Orange is win winning that. that. And then the yeah. one the that's hard thousand. to the one that's hard to predict is Lance Archer versus Mark Briscoe. I that is. I think that they're gonna have Archer be in it. I hope. I hope Archer. I, I love. I think Briscoe. they should. I hope yeah. Archer wins, yeah. I love Briscoe too, but Archer, they're trying to push him again pretty heavy, and it's just like, what's the point if you just have him not even, you know what I mean? You yeah. cut the cord that mm-hmm. fast on him. So, uh, and Briscoe's at the ROH title still, so I, you know, it's not like a huge, huge loss for him because, like, why does he have to go for another title anyway? So. It would be cool if they start, like, a feud in this match with Lance Archer mm-hmm. and Okada retains. And then they go one on one, and that's like one of his uh, other defenses. Well, it would be cool also if Lance Archer was the reason that Okada wins, and he helps him, and he's just like a giant enforcer for the elite. True. That would probably I would, yeah. I think I'm, I'd rather see like a feud happen with Takeshita, you know, and Okada. Well, that's what I'm saying, and I think like Archer can be the monster that they carry around because they need the elite have so many people trying to fucking take their greatness and their nipping at their heels and they could use a reinforcement right now because hangman know. is too busy burning houses down and being a sick bastard so i kind of liked what they were doing with lance archer with the righteous so i did too but is he still connected with them though i don't think he is now that he cut his new he's been cutting his new promos and stuff on no like idea. awtv more and stuff and like that was mostly like roh uh centralized uh, or centered so like yeah, i don't know everybody dies Everybody dies. Everybody. Um, 
up what next, we have MJF versus Daniel Garcia. I hope Daniel Garcia wins. I, I hope so because it's like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of tough seeing if MJF is going to lose two in a row, you know, after losing to Osprey mm-hmm. and being mm-hmm. a top, top person in the company. So, like, He's I could go see him his, winning uh, this one and then maybe by by cheating and then era. and then giving up yeah, then giving up a L to Garcia on the next one or maybe he but I, I, I think <laughs> I'm gonna go I, I don't know, because Garcia I, I think I'll go Garcia because I think MJF gets his W back on the back end of like a, of like a two slam match slam in New yeah, York. Yeah, yeah, and a two match feud that like hometown hero gets the dub. Um so I, I go Danny Garcia too, and his promo is awesome. I have a fetish. Yeah. What is well, we were saying like your life. Yeah, and he said, uh, everything about you is fake. He's like the makeup you wear over your pimples, your fucking uh your tan and he went uh, all the way to Turkey to get it, hair transplants and it didn't even work. Yeah. Do you think MJF knew he was gonna like say he all was those things? His hand during that promo, like he wrote on his hand. How dare he you? Put- how the he pulled the rock one time. Yeah, he did. He pulled was, the rock. It is what it is. I can't remember my lines. MJF should have pulled the John Cena and just yeah, been like, well, I don't have to read the lines off my wrist. Doesn't Andy Garcia date the rock or some shit? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, that was his ex wife. That's his ex wife, Danny Garcia. Yeah, now he has her as president of US the XFL. F- yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, well, yeah, what is it? The UFL. Yeah, just the UFL, yeah. Maybe her and Daniel Garcia should uh, get married. She won't even have to change her name. <clears throat> that would be pro. It would be pro, but there'd be hell to pay from the, the Brahma Bowl. Dewey would not be cool with that. Dewey what loves Harry Potter. Did you say who you think is going to win? What? Yeah, Dan Garcia. Yeah, you said Garcia, oh, yeah. I started it off. That's yeah, he Fuck the... you, man. Are That's you on Garcia, crazy. too? Or yeah, MJF. yeah. I didn't know if he said it or if I did, but yeah. You're an idiot. It's all about the he says, she says bullshit. Uh, okay. We're, we're deaf. But me and Chris are calling every news network after this and getting put on, dude. So now just be we prepared. Got, we got I'm the not co- a smart man. We got the co headliner, Brian Danielson versus Jack Perry for the AEW World Championship match. I think Ooh. Brian. Yeah, I yeah American right. Dragon, because yeah, because the elite are gonna retain the tag titles, and Brian's not gonna lose the title to Jack Perry. You know, barely two weeks in, thirteen days into his title run, um, it would be hilarious though. It did happen, dude. I, dude, I. That's one thing lately with wrestling that, across all companies, across every fucking single one, it's like, they all just want to have champions that. At the very least, our champs were like at least six months to a year. You know, like yeah. I, I, I like when there's that was one thing about the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression Era that was really fun is the unpredictability. Like someone could lose a, they were champs, they won at the pay per view on fucking Sunday and they lose on Raw the next night out of nowhere. And you're just like, what the fuck? You know, it, it, it was so, it was a lot more random. I mean, that's also why all those guys have like, they're like fucking thirteen to fifteen time champions because they won the title yeah. like five times no in thirty days. No yeah. for going to clown though. I <laughs> yeah, guess. until until Paul London and Brian Kendrick came around and they held those titles for close to a year, man. Yep. Thank God. No, no flip flop in there. They ended Vin- the and then the and then they tell me this, Jimmy Snook his kid had to come in with a greaser gimmick and beat them. Chuck Palumbo. I don't know if he was Deuce or no. Domino. He was one of them, though. I think I think Deuce. he was Deuce. Yeah, is there and a he Deuce couldn't bag? wrestle for shit. Well, and they che- tried and him, che- and and Cherry was the only good thing about that gimmick. Hundred percent, and that gimmick doesn't work unless you got Big Vito a part of it. You idiots! <laughs> you fucking idiots! Why would a greaser gimmick work in any time period? Like after the movie Grease was successful. Well, little right? Jacob, little Jacob Walker's pretty good at. Doing a gimmick like that. Shout out. Anyway, main event. Do we all say me, Johnny? We all said Brian Danielson. Yeah, we're all in yeah. unison right now. Yeah. Wow. Literally crazy. have not picked a single. Like yeah, like we've all picked together. Yeah, because I mean, tonight. which I figure because I mean when you have matches thrown together, 
so soon after the biggest pay-per-view of the year. And this is their version of WWE Backlash. You know what I mean? Which they were calling WrestleMania Backlash for like a year. They did like three weeks after. Or at WrestleMania? I don't know. Closing out tonight, we got Swerve Strickland versus Hangman Adam Page in a steel cage lights out match. How are we going to see if the lights are out? That's what I want to know. They're going to put the red light on, like the Fiend. Thank God. They're, the red... they're going to get some red light therapy, which is helpful for so many things. It great is. for skin. It's great. It's great for your mental Anxiety. Health. Yep, all of it. Is it? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Can I, can I get some? Yeah, you just get like a red light and you just like look And then at what do them. I do? But you just lay there nude. You lay there nude. And you absorb it. And really? you wear special glasses because it'll hurt your eyes. Really? I think it's like blue glasses or something. Something that like crosses what is this, out. What it. does this do for me? Everything. And they're doing it for... Put you it basically have to do it for Hangman because Hangman is... In, Hangman's obviously fucking lost it. So they're trying to do anything to calm this guy down. Cause the booze aren't even helping anymore. True. And he's, and he's scaring me. Yeah, he's huffing he's, gasoline, spilling it on houses. Yeah, he scared me Hangman. last night. Yeah, I don't know why uh, people were saying like it was clearly an accident. He didn't mean to burn the house down. Yeah, it was an accident. Yeah, he was just trying to make a point. Like, come on, guys. Yeah, his car broke down and then he tripped throughout the house with the gas can open. Yeah, I hope he yeah. comes out at all out. Again. He comes out That's all out with like a a burnt skeleton that he says is for his mom. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Carries her we're... in. I guess the house wasn't empty, Swerve. Yeah, sorry. And he's like, what? My mom's alive. Dead Who the cat. fuck is that? Who, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who the, what the fuck is that? <clears throat> Some That's type of a... crypto creature. And then it goes down a rabbit hole. They have to fight a crypto creature together. Ooh, but... That's cool, fun. actually. That's fun. Hey, let's, let's bring cryptids Hangman to wrestling, Hangman versus dude. the Goatman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the goat, the so, Goatman's Jack Perry. What is their... Uh, the Swerve have the are they one one right now? And they're I don't there's this is their third match. This is their fourth match, so I'm trying to think about the one's edge a tie. On it. Is it one a tie? Yeah, it went like past the thirty minute mark or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm trying it might to be think. one either they're one one and one or or someone's two uh, oh and one. And did Swerve have a he had a title defense against him or he never did, right? Which I, I just thought was so. weird. I, don't think I just so. thought that was kinda odd. And that's why I think I'm going to Hangman because I feel like he was, was out. He was out during that time. Remember, yeah, he but he came. Come, he, he, didn't, he, he didn't come back till Blood and Guts. Yeah, and I, but it I was like mid June. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go Hangman because I feel like he's bringing Swerve's house down, and this is like a good storyline of Swerve lost the title. He had his yeah. mom's house burned down, and then he will even lose to Hangman. And what do you think they're? I mean, where does their feud go from here? Like another, another pay per view. Like, how does this feud come to like a culmination? Know. You know, I hope Tony Khan has an idea because I don't. It's to, uh, to tell you the truth, it's been the best storyline going on, like long term storytelling over the past year in AW. The most oh, yeah, consistent, yeah, easily. So except, fucking consistent. And... Except Tony Storm Mariah May, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, well, they they started even before that. I thought, didn't they, or no? Around the same time. They started, like, November of last year, I think. Yeah, and I... Dude, I'm... It's it's Their it's so good, and they're going to have... each other was June 10th, 2023. Also, I'm I mean, right, January. Man. January 10th. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's been a minute, because they've spread things out a good amount. And then they do little things where they would, like, run into each other yeah, and be so like, they, fuck you. They fought January 10th, you. then... <laughs> Yeah, like November. It's my birthday. Yeah. It's, it's a fitting days. thing to have like Big the lights out that. match. It's a fitting thing to have the lights out match too, because as you're saying, like the red light, like the fiend. It's funny, but like it's a similar storyline where um Swerve turned Hangman into a psychopath because he was evil as fuck. And mm-hmm. now like Hangman is completely next level evil and No, but that was an act like I said, that was an accident. Yeah, his he, was an accident, he's a but good, Swer- he's a good guy. Swerve's wasn't, dude. Oh, Swerve's a psychopath. Yeah. He tried to think... kill a baby. Yeah. Do you <laughs> think he... He uh... did not, dude. He, he was you making that? sure it was okay. You're right. You There's don't, you no don't... one home. There's no one home with that baby. So, like, he's yeah. like, let me make sure. 
Yeah, make sure he's comfortable by putting the pillow over his head. A... Great. <laughs> Great. You think that swear like, he went Nana, too far? You think Prince Donna, Swerve, and Hangman were just trying to collect like the fire insurance on the house? It was a scam. You think it probably is, dude? Yeah. And Hangman was like, they're like, we'll wait. split it three. We'll split it three ways. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I think that's really gonna play into the storyline. Is that would be so sick? The insurance. Fraud. Yeah. Well, dude, it's if Hangman insurance fraud angle. Are you picking Hangman too, Jason, or who do you got? I'm picking Hangman. Um. You know, I'll say Hangman too because he's been scaring me. He's been Adam, scaring me. I was gonna say uh, Swerve, but I was like, nah, I don't, I don't know. I don't yeah. Know about all that. And I'm gonna be screaming, Adam Hangman Page, baby. Yeah, where he? Wait, in... who who won the match when um he hung uh, up with barbed wire? The the witch go match, the, the Texas Death, Death match. Death he drank match. his blood. Yeah, who I think won Swerve that won that, right? I think Swerve won. And yeah, Steve I want to say Swerve. Space. Yeah, I think so. But they basically both won Garments. that match. Garments! Um, yes, yeah. And so, that's... No, so one more prediction for, for All Out. Um, So, All In, we were on point, like, saying, like, you know, because the free agents out there who might show up and Ricochet showed up. Do you think anyone shows up at All Out? No. Any any newbies? I don't think they would for All Out either, because like, but maybe that's because the card is a little bit predictable and I hope kind of soon after. Yeah, I hope they do a wedge card. I hope they do like a um a women's casino gauntlet or women's like casino battle royale. Yeah, that, that would be great because there's, there's only two. How many women's matches are there? I think they there's asked two, Tony about there's that. There's two right now. Just two, right? It's a stat, yeah. yeah. But there's no I would love that. Match. Dude, a, a women's gauntlet match for the number one contender would be fucking awesome. Yeah, for like I, I love number one contender matches in general. They're fun. Like, there's a lot of, yeah. And then Tay Conti's coming back from injury. Apparently she's ready, so you could have her in it or some shit, make a return. Yeah. Tay is the shit, dude. Thank God. Or Ty, how do you say it? I don't know. Tay or Ty, I don't remember. But um, I don't know who could even debut. Um, like who is even available? Bobby Lashley. Oh, you're right. There was like, what's what was this faction called? The, the Wait, with him and MVP. Yeah, yeah the hurt business. About doing another hurt business with like he, his MVP Shelton and Bobby are free agents. Go ahead. He yeah. indicated today that there will not be a casino gauntlet match for the women's at all out. Tony but literally he's said interested that. Interested in doing that in the future. That's what it says on. The, I hate him. On pro I'm, putting, I'm putting him on the fucking news because ProWrestling.net is not news. I want him on fucking all of them. Fox News, CNN, ABC, MSNBC, Nickelodeon, Nick at Night, Disney. Uh, Nick at Night. Um, maybe we could see Hobbs coming back. That would be into, cool. Into I mean, what, though? Like, what? I, would, I, would, I wouldn't sign Shelton Benjamin. Why? He's a hero. What's I love problem? Shelton, but I don't know. It, you might have too many humans. You're not wrong. If, There's a lot of people in that company. If Bobby and Sh- if I mean Shelton's a great worker, though. I mean, he would be like in a Jay Lethal role, Guts. honestly, at this part in his career. Do you have? But it? do you think a uh, Double J hey, is gonna? Yeah. Do you think Double J could end up helping Swerve in this match, though? Um. Yeah. Maybe because I know they're still kind of feuding. Yeah, so that's I don't know, but it's hangman, it's hangman page, baby, or die. So all the yeah. elite are is so is, like him too. Like he joined the elite for that one night, but like he never said he wasn't gonna be a part of it or not be a part of it. He just gave him scary faces and then showed up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's why I think they they for sure need to add like a big boy enforcer because I mean, dude, they need a security guard. Okada. And the and the Jacksons and Jungle dude, Jack, speaking, they don't have time, dude. Speaking of big boys, Mike was upset that last week we didn't talk about the cameo from Big Ben Bishop. Yeah, big we, trouble, Ben Bishop. Yeah, and uh, I'm so happy that that cameo is done and that Big Ben sided with us over Mike. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, Mike's a real piece of shit, man. Yeah, he thought he was gonna do a hit piece on us and have Big Ben shit on us, but nope. 
Not he couldn't follow his yeah. invasion angle. So Mike's kind of like the you know 2004 Seahawks or the 2008 Cardinals. Big Ben shit yeah. on you, bro. Yeah, open your eyes and get the mm-hmm. Riho underwears out of them. <laughs> hey, that's not. We never confirmed which brother. Yeah, I'm really. I'm still don't know which one it is. So. So. Hey, it's a toss up, dude. When you assume you make an ass out of you and me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You make an ass out of you and me, and you end up with poo and pee in your undies. <laughs> and sometimes they're Riho undies that are over your eyes, so you get really, really bad pink eye. So whatever brother you see, whatever brother has pink eye, that'll tell us. <laughs> Boys. And Bowie's here. Yeah. But um I see his wiener. That's could see his wiener. For the Patreon. Yeah. All right. Well uh, that concludes all that. It does. Anything else going on in the wrestling world? Well, we didn't even talk. Well, we can glance over Dynamite and then Raw or SmackDown or Bash at Berlin. Real yeah, quick. well, SmackDown didn't happen yet. So we can. Or Bash at Berlin and Raw. Yeah, yeah, we should, because Bash at Berlin was five, five uh, matches. And yeah, we might as well give our little cute reviews and we thought of them. Yeah, I'm still getting around to watching it, so. Oh, I've known you've seen the clips. <laughs> I know you've, so I know you've seen it. Dude. How yeah, you lost? What happened? I, I was able to pull Jason in, and yeah, first of all, uh, CM Punk and Drew was uh, the best possible match you could have with that stupid stipulation for sure. Like, it looked they worked goofy. it, they yeah, they worked like good storytelling, not, not like them, and, not them. I just meant like the light setup looked goofy, yeah, I know, with the fucking green yeah. and red lights, and then like yeah. for one part, like the lights didn't go on, but we we're so silly, they, it was. But it was like CM Punk had like a smart, smart uh part of the match. Where he was like, like tagging them as he yeah, was like, yeah. Drew, he was Drew was just holding him on his shoulder and he was like dead and he was just like mm-hmm. deep, deep. Uh, but yeah, it was it was Fucked good up. and you know he had to give him three fucking GTSs and he looked good and I was like I was like all right and then after the match I was like Phil, please don't be injured and he wasn't so he thank you injured. thank you Lord Zeno. But then Drew like put his put the bracelet in his balls or something. Yeah, no. Before the match, he pulled it out of his underwears of a mm-hmm. sweaty his sweaty Scottish mm-hmm. psychopath balls, and, and he, he pulled them him. out. Yeah, and then he kissed them. And, it, and that's what I was saying, dude. It's just like the Pulp Fiction kiss her walking thing, and it's just like I had these I had these beads on my sweaty nut sack. Dude, wow. Would you like a chocolate pretzel? I've been holding these bracelets on this bracelet on my sweaty nutsack. But yeah, then in Raw, he beat the living piss out of them. Uh just to get their little raw feud out of the way. Um yeah, and then CM Punk was coughing up blood on the stretcher and Drew was still beating his ass. So And he and he broke his bracelet. Yeah. And I I like and he made it he fed it to him. He broke the bracelet and took the beads out and shoved them down his throat. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was like the coolest thing you can do. To end the fucking beat saga already. It would be better if it was a candy bracelet, am I right? Yeah, I mean, I guess since CM Punk would have been choking. <laughs> they would have been choking. That's crazy. No, they're delicious, dude. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool that... if the Sandman came out with candy cigarettes. Yeah, Fuck I know. Man. Yeah. Ooh, you're just saying cool. that. You're just saying that because unlike other brothers, Reho underwear, you're into edible undie underwear. You just eat edible undies you all day. You caught me. It is what it is. They taste like a fruit roll up. Mm-hmm. Well, they have the ones with like the little beat, like the little candy it's like, circles. It's like, it's like Camel Crush. <laughs> yeah. Anal beads? No, it's just no, like it's the bracelet. Like the it's like the candy fruit. bracelets. It's made out of like the same stuff as the candy bracelets, edible undies. Well, they have the nerds rope anal beads. I mean, that would be impressive. And that's that leads us to our sponsor this week. Just Nerds rope, anal Sherry's, <laughs> Sherry's berries. <laughs> Sher- Sherry's dingle berries. <laughs> wow, sensational right. dingle berries. Um, but yeah, dude, I out of out of five stars, which also I want to comment on this because I think it's fucking hilarious. Like WWE fans and even people that review WWE matches hate Meltzer so much that they refuse to do the five star rating. They just do like. You know, nine out of, out of 10. ten, five out. Of, yeah, yeah, and they refuse. Well, so. I don't, I don't either. I do five out of five booms. Yeah, for Colt, or Cabana. if it's really nine. bad, it can be five out of five 
Dooms. Yeah, I hope the rest of it shows up, though. But, I mean, I would say, yeah, it was a 4.25 out of 5-star five five match. <sighs> well, that, dude, the Rizzler, Guys, that would be the, the, the appearance. On one of the last TikToks, Big Justice and AJ were talking about coming to Chicago to the Barstool office. And they'd say they're going to talk about all these things. And then and then Big Justice said, and we'll even talk about professional wrestling. And then winked at the camera. Shit, man. Well, they're coming, dude. And they're, they're who coming. else is on Barstool? Mariah the May. wrestling guy. Yeah, Brandon we're going to talk about the clip. interviewed a Mariah May and Tommy Brandon Walker. Yeah, and, and that door. Walker. Yeah, and that dork was getting scared the whole time because Mario May was in the couch with him. He's like, oh, oh, oh. You're like, you wouldn't even look there. It was making fun word. of him. Come on. No, it wasn't. Brandon Walker was making fun of him. He's like, you can't even look at her in her eyes. That's what he does with most of them. Did he do it to Tony Khan? Whatever you say, dude. He, I'm going to put him on with the With Tony Khan, he kept looking at his phone. Really? Yeah. Don't put this guy in the news. He deserves <laughs> to be on it, dude. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I'm fucking I'm a fan real. Of him. He's a cool guy. I met him when I met Ben Bishop, actually. No, we're talking about what? the other guy, not Brandon Walker. Yeah, we're talking Which about guy? the guy that was on the couch. The fucking the guy was on the couch. Yeah, he was on the couch. He was like he was like blushing. I don't know a barstool guy. He was like a younger guy. Oh, yeah, he's sitting okay. sitting on the couch. I think he's a ginger hey man, that's or some an shit. Intern, okay, that's what our interns are. No, like. he wasn't. An, he wasn't an intern. The intern's oh, behind man. you though. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, but um, I don't know his name. I, but yeah, they I, were embarrassing him. I can, he was like, I yeah, look it up for you. Getting, getting cheeky red cheekies. And he was just like, uh. And like, you can't even look at her right now. And he's like, oh, yeah, I can. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. How dare you. Reminds me of something that I can't talk about. All right. <laughs> what are we talking about, Raw? Um... <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> The no, kids, it's not even. It wasn't even anything I can't bad. Can't find this guy's name. It's just one of those secret stories that are only go on the Patreon or the news. Um, okay, wait. I found his name. It's Connor Griffin. But uh, it's not. Okay, I can see it now. Yep, yeah, there. It said Ginger, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gingers are evil, dude. We got. We got. <laughs> Jason, he's a producer in Barstool, not an intern, you piece of shit. Dude, what's the a fucking pr- a difference? A producer. Producer. Fuck Someone yeah. gives him coffee? I don't I don't buy it. Fuck you. Yeah. He's cleaning oh, up man. he's cleaning up Brandon's fucking loads in the shower, dude. At Barstool. He has his own personal oh. shower and bathroom. How dare you? He's the one, the real one producing stuff. Did, Am I right? What did Cody do? Bro? Portnoy goes over and he tells them, hey, everybody, take one bite. Portnoy says, <laughs> cut. He says, cut it out. Um. Yeah, so so the Cody um, and Kevin well, Owens match, it was, it was good. I mean, they gave us 26 minutes, and uh, it was what I, we were kind of talking about it, like, I, I think they wanted to do something like more of like an AEW match to compete with their boys over there. And um, yeah, it was a dope match. And, you know, we got the ending. We thought Cody would win. Um, Cool little uh, transition of reversing a, a crossroads into a stunner. That was fun. Um, Kevin Owens' stunner is one of the slowest in the world, but it was fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Crazy. Well, his stunner, his stunner is a lot like it's a lot slower than Stone Cold's, but like it's more powerful. It's yeah. like it's like the appearance of it. That's what I the way I always looked at it. But it's slow as fuck, but super dun, powerful. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, that was another solid at least four star match for four net four point two five somewhere in that range. It was badass. Um, and then uh. My girls, um, all the pretty girls walk like this. Yeah, for all you AW fans that remember that before you fucking soured on my girl and sent her whatever, write to me on WWA. Um, all right. Dude, we didn't sour on anyone. You guys it's did. Screwed, I'm tired dude. of it. Bro, yeah. She's not getting that Max money. She's getting that Netflix money. Yeah, and she's hanging out with Sean Spears and Wardlow. So, who really I'm sorry, knows? dude, but compare Netflix originals to Max originals? Come on. Come on, dude. Yeah. Um. 
What would you rather watch, Stranger Things or The Sopranos? Come on. We got eight twenty four on there. Yeah, but, yeah, but Sopranos wasn't, Eric, like, wasn't like a wasn't like, it was an HBO original from back in the day, not a Max original. It didn't like come to the streaming service as an original. It's just in their archival ownership. So I don't know. I don't think hey, it counts. Man, like let's that. not split hairs, okay? I'll split all the fucking <laughs> hairs, dude. Yeah, I'll split all the Netflix, hairs off of your hairy moas. Netflix has <laughs> Joey Chestnut now, so wow. And he beat his own hot dog record. Yeah, and he t- took on his old villain, Kobayashi. Kenta right? Kobayashi? Yeah, he took on Kenta. Guys, what else uh, happened this week? Dun, dun. Well, cool. we, Jay we, Cario we... won the titles for Bianca. Yeah, we're still shit. finishing Bash of Berlin. That's what I'm you saying. Did, man, you did sour, bro. Yeah, I'm you saying. did. What you else soured happened? on her. So they won the Bash titles, as I said I would. Um... So those were three matches we just took, we handled, right? Mm-hmm. So the, the main event was Gunta and uh, Randy Orton. But what match are we missing right now? Ray Ripley and Damien Priest. That's right. And uh, the Unholy Union. <laughs> the Terror Twins. Of course Twins. I know. Of course it was I know. Te- it was the Terror Twins versus the Unholy Union. And um, yeah, the Terror Twins won despite yeah, a lot of Liv, odds Liv against them. Yeah, they, yeah, she had to get that pin back because she's Liv's gonna hold the title. Like for a little, they gotta hold it for longer, obviously, you know. And I hear that, right? Yeah, you heard that. Have some more cheap wins. Uh, but I like I like Damian Priest in this role. As I said, like it sucks. Like towards the end of his title run, and then Gunta came along. Like he was really doing great, starting to do really good in in the promos and overall with that towards the end. But what can you do? And then final yeah. is Gunta versus Randy Orton, which I thought was awesome. It was 30, over 33 minutes long. It was just like an old school fucking battle that went on forever. And it's crazy how much bigger Randy is than Gunta. Yeah. That is kind of surprising. But, but um, he comes from that era, you know. Huge guy. You know, yeah, I mean, I mean, well, Randy's bigger than he's ever fucking been ever. Yeah, you know, he's he's still kept the muscle mass since he's been back. But yeah, it was Bash of Berlin. It was you know I'm glad if they're gonna do five matches, they at least made the majority of them like 20, 30 minutes in that range. And uh, yeah, the German crowd was loving it. They were fucking loving it. And it was the biggest and most expensive gate, um, in like arena history or whatever for a pay per view. I think that's it broke like all records for. Like arenas, not stadiums. Mm-hmm. So that's it's cool. cool that, you know, wrestling's reaching these audiences, you know. Italy, even. Australia. Places like that. Australia, exactly. So, Which I'm glad you brought that up. That was something about the rapid fire. Um, That AEW's going to Australia next year. Mm-hmm. For Grand Slam. Yeah, I just, so- hope, I just hope when they fly back to LA that they don't get on Oceanic Flight 815. You know what we're talking about, guys? And disappear? Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh, that's a little spooky. Is that might have something to do with uh, aliens. Uh, no, it doesn't. We're all there's, no alien, there's no aliens in Lost. <laughs> Did you know it's Lost? They didn't even know what the fuck story they were telling. They just were banking it up as they went along. Well, it's, it's very clear when you watch the show. Damn. Yeah. I've only seen the first season. Oh, dude, once you get to, like, the end of the third season, fourth, you're like, there's, I don't even know what's going on right now. But, yeah, uh, yeah. go ahead, though. Grand Slam's Australia. Tony Storm's there promoting it. Pretty cool, yeah. man. Yeah, that's all we really know so far, and it's exciting. Yeah, I think they might adjust the all-out date next year so that, like, they're not all super close to each other kind of thing. Well, when well is, I mean, when they adjusted Chris... it this year. You know, because it was only a week yeah. apart last year. So they they used to be had, three well, weeks. Well, so. look, no, no, they're not going to just all out at all because all in's July 26th. So all out can stay in September. And now that Grand Slam is moved to something Oh, that's else, right. That's right. It's all working that's out. Right. Yeah, So because they, they need that separated. You got to keep them separated. Yeah, yeah. Put them on the news. But, uh, yeah, I mean. Put a girl on. That. Put a fucking girl on. I think that's that's We've our week of wrestling. We've been saying that the whole episode. We haven't even described what put a girl on is. I'm not describing it. It's it is self. 
just look up on Instagram evident. and put a girl on. That's what we'll leave you with. It's self-evident. The end of this dude. episode. We are feminists through and through, and we just want We're you to put a fucking girl about on. Too. Our yeah. Fuck it. Deal. Fuck Harrison Butker. Yeah. I hope you miss all your field goals and point afters tonight. Yeah, you piece of shit. And anyone Fuck in fantasy you. football that chose him, Fuck you're you. you're you're fucking you're a part of it. Okay. Let's see. And before we buy him, before before we sign off, let's look up who has Harrison Butker in our league. And yeah, better, well, let's see who the better not be is. one of you two guys. No, I got Dicker. The, I got Dicker the kicker, dude. He's a hero. I've never heard of this guy. Harrison Bucker. He's yeah. got the he got he got the biggest contract too. The Chiefs are like, oh wow, you're a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, Mo- let's give you the biggest Moon, contract a kicker ever got. Moon has him. Wow. Yeah. He's not it's even a, like he's not even the best kicker in the league. He's not even the second best. Anyway, kicker. let's no, end this he episode. Just paid, like, Fuck it Harrison Bucker. Fuck him, dude. Invasion angle. Invasion angle. Invasion angle. Bet you love that sweet ass podcast. I am John Cena and I approve this message. Boobies.